Hi, my name is Matt and I'm part of the Lead Tool Support Team here at Lead Technologies and today I'm going to show you how to add barcode functionality to your Xamarin Camera Control. And this is video 3 of our video series on our Xamarin Camera Control which is a new feature that was added to our version 20 Lead Tools SDK in its most recent update. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the barcode NuGet package and that is just going to be under Tools, NuGet Package Manager and Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Make sure you're on the Browse tab and type in leadtools.barcode and make sure you check project and install. All right, and so once this downloads, we're going to open up the main page.xaml. We're going to add a button and a label. And so the button is going to be our live capture button. And this is going to enable live capture for barcode recognition. And then we're also going to add a label, and that's just going to let us know when the live capture is enabled. So the button, um, we're going to do horizontal options, fill and expand, just so that it fills the width of your device's interface. And then we'll do, for the text, uh, start live capture, and we'll add a click event live capture, and that's just um, the click event that we'll add in our main page.cs. All right, for the label, we're going to give it a name so that we can reference it in our main page.xaml.cs. And we'll put uh, text, which this is what it's going to default to when the application is open up. Or it's going to be live capture disabled, and the text color is going to be red. So now we'll go to the main page.xaml.cs and we'll add the using lead tools barcode using statement. And next in our class we're going to add a global variable and it's going to be private static read only barcode engine and we're going to go ahead and create a new instance of that barcode engine and now we're going to go under initialize component and we're going to add in uh, lead camera dot camera options and this is going to be camera options for our camera view on our device and it's going to be lead camera dot camera options dot auto rotate image and we're going to set that to true so that the application auto rotates the image for our barcode recognition so next what we're going to do is we're going to add that click event the live capture click event and that's going to be private void live capture and then object sender event args and args all right, so inside this uh, live capture event, we're going to change the text of our button and the color of our button, our label, sorry, the text of our label and the color of our label. So we'll do live capture enabled, and then the color's gonna be green since it's enabled. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook in our uh, frame received event to this button as well so that it starts uh, the frame receive event which is the last part that we need to add to our application before deploying. So the frame received event um, basically just takes every frame that's um, taken by the camera and it's passed into the program and each time that that um, frame is received from the device to the program it's going to uh, initiate this event right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add a variable data. And this is basically just going to contain all the data of the barcode that is recognized. And so it's going to be barcode engine dot reader dot read barcode. And in the parameters, we're going to pass in the image to read the barcode on. And then we're going to pass in the rectangle that we want to uh, recognize barcodes inside and since we don't have a particular area on the image that we want the barcodes to be um, recognized we're just going to pass in lead rec dot empty which will recognize the entire image and then in the last parameter we're going to pass in the barcode symbology and this is just going to be the type of barcode that we want to recognize since there's no particular barcode that we want to recognize like we don't solely want to recognize a QR code um, we're going to pass in unknown and that is going to look for all uh, barcode formats that our SDK supports. Okay, so for each frame that is received, we're gonna check to see if the image is not null and we're going to check to see if the data right here is also not null. And if both of those are not null, then it's going to display an alert that's gonna say um, barcode found 
and then inside the alert it's going to we're going to give some data about the barcode and we'll just do barcode and it'll pass in um, the symbology which is just going to be the barcode format that we recognized and then we'll pass in the value, which is just going to be the value of the barcode that is recognized, the bounds, which is where the barcode is going to be located on the image, and then the rotation angle, if there is any rotation angle. And then we'll just uh, close it out with saying okay. All right, so once it recognizes a barcode, we're also going to stop the frame receive event, and we're going to change our live capture label back to disabled and to red since it's disabled. Okay, so you should be ready to deploy your application to your device and start uh, reading some barcodes. And stay tuned for more functionality using our Xamarin camera control.